this is a fundamental part of our farm's future. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Tim's Cotswold Farm. So I hope you're going to enjoy today's episode. The TM has got the sub disc on it. So what are we doing? You might think, oh, they're about to drill some winter wheat. Well, you'd be part right. You'd be close. We've got something new coming, which is pretty exciting. So we're part Xing, drill and the sub disc. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the sub disc, but it's just moving too much soil. In this day and age, the whole thing is less soil disturbance, reduced costs. If you guys haven't seen my video from last year when we were drilling our spring crops, I'll put a video up above to the sub disc in operation, our kind of spring cultivation. Likewise, if you haven't seen the spring drilling, I'll put a video up above as well. Have a look at that. We were using that Mashio six meter time drill. But times have moved on. Now the downside to all this is that it's coming on a low loader, which is about three meters wide. And to quote the driver, she's all right for everything to turn. So that means we can't have it up here in the yard. It means we're gonna to have to put it out on the road. Now, the last time we put something out on the road was my Defender. And I think I've got some video footage of that. So I wanna share that now if I can find it. Now, when we did that, a lot of motorists got angry. Now, we're not particularly bothered. I don't really care. But at the same time, it just makes it really difficult because we've gotta get one thing off, well, two things actually, because we decided to buy a couple of extras as well, a couple of extra pieces to go on it. And then we've also got to put two machines back on in part exchange. Let's see how it goes. Now, I'm hoping to cover most of it. I've got a couple of sheepy things that I need to do as well. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to put a GoPro so you guys can stay with, you can see it all happening, and then I can pop off, do the sheepy stuff and probably come back. I mean, you can see it running down the road. This is the worst time to load a wagon. So the biggest issue with this, you need to get something under the back of the packer, which is there, to enable the top link to be free. Otherwise, it's too tight. And so they're just trying to cram some stuff underneath now. Here she is. Because the weather's so miserable, we're gonna go through this tomorrow instead for you guys. See you tomorrow. So today isn't really much better in terms of the weather. Last night, we were able to at least get the drill on. This will be the first time that we've then started the box and started to operate it. So I won't spend too much time on it because we spoke about the claim loads in the other videos. If you haven't seen those, then I'll put a link up above. Just gotta move the sprayer out of the way. If these happen to be blocked for any reason, it's like an anti-blockage system. So when C starts coming out here and dropping on the surface, then you know you've got a blocked boot and you can do something about it. One for the cold start fan. Oh. Not much to it. So we got the box all set up and this is the new system. What's really interesting is the RDS is actually based here in Gloucestershire, so it's no 1453 number, which is pretty cool. So any issues with the box, if we didn't want to go to Clayton or we had something more technical to ask, they're actually right on our doorstep. This is the screen, and this is kind of the main run setting. So you've got the leading time, you've got the seeding boot there, and that's a seven inch A share. And then what it's also got behind it is the splitter boot, so it's fanning it out like that, and it's basically putting a, a ribbon of seed across the ground. So this leading time, which goes down to about 100 mil for cereals, will carve a channel 
and then over the top which you would have seen in the other video that i posted i'll put a link up above to that is them putting a band of seed then you've got the paddles so in the wet you ride the paddles high in the dry you ride them low and then i guess middle conditions like this then you just put it half and half here there's a little lynch clip this pulls out and this would extend out um, nice sort of led indicator it's got about a 1700 litre tank capacity hydraulic fan it's got a metering unit more like the accord drill as opposed to the one that we sent down the road now the other one was purely based on speed of the motor whereas this one has a like a throat in it all of the seed you choose what seed you're going to be working with using this chart and then you'll see down in here there's like a roller and it says what seed you use and and the centimeters and you bring that out and in and that's depending on the seed size and then the motoring unit does the second half of the calibration now to calibrate it a bit different we could use it from the cab but they've also very cleverly designed it so that one person operation there's you can't see so there's a button here and you hold it for like three seconds and it starts metering it out now very much like the accord system again undo this this swings out that way swings sideways and this thing comes off and then the seeds metered out. And what we've got is like um, some Claydon scales and like a Claydon bucket thing that you then use. We're trying to work out what this thing was for. In here, this is all mesh. They look like they're riveted. So you could put that plastic piece up over the top there to increase the amount of air pressure running through it. Uh, tram liners, but obviously we're gonna put it on wheat. Guys, thank you so much for watching. So next video, I'm really hoping if it suddenly becomes dry, then we can start putting wheat in the ground. I've got the drone already got my phone ready, got the GoPro ready, just waiting on the weather now. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tim's Cotswold Farm, and I'll see you in the next one.